Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide whole numbers by mixed numbers, and we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now the steps that we're going to use to solve these problems are at the top of the screen. So let's jump into number one, where we have seven divided by two and two fifths. The first thing we want to do is change any mixed numbers or whole numbers to improper fractions. Let's start with the seven there, and we have a whole number. So all we need to do for this is put it over one, and we now have that seven in fractional form. Let's bring down our division sign. So that works for any whole number, by the way. You can just put it over one in order to put it in fractional form. Now for the mixed number, we need to start at the bottom and work our way to the top in order to convert this to an improper fraction. We multiply and then add. So we do five times two, which is 10, plus two, which gives us 12. That's our numerator. We keep our denominator of five the same. So now that we have our problem rewritten here, um, changing our mixed and whole number to improper fractions because we want numerators and denominators, we're now able to move to the next step, which is KSF, keep, switch, flip. So the steps of dividing fractions. So that K, keep, means that we always keep our first fraction. So I'm going to rewrite the problem using these steps. So keep. Now we switch the division sign to the opposite of division, multiplication. That means we need to flip our second fraction. So the five is now our numerator and the 12 is the denominator. So now we're ready to solve and multiply straight across. But before doing so, we can always check to see if we can use cancellation. So you can think of this as simplifying the problem before multiplying straight across. So what we need to do, we need to look for common factors between our numerators and denominators. But in the case of number one, the only common factor between our numerators and denominators is one. So we can't use cancellation for number one. We will be able to in number two, but we'll get there in a minute. So we can multiply straight across now. Seven times five is 35, and one times 12 is 12. So 35 over 12 is our final answer, but it's an improper fraction, so we want to convert it back to a mixed number. So we do that by doing 35 divided by 12. So let's actually write all of this out. So 35 divided by 12. So how many whole groups of 12 can we pull out of 35? Well, only two. That gets us to 24 because three groups, we would need 36. So two whole groups, that's going to be our whole number portion of the mixed number. So two times 12, 24. Subtract, we get a remainder of 11. So that remainder is going to be the numerator of our fractional part. And then we keep our denominator of 12 the same. Always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part. Um, 11 twelfths, only common factor between the 11 and 12 is one. So we are in simplest form. And our final answer is two and 11 twelfths. So on to number two, where we have 10 divided by six and two thirds. So first thing we wanna do convert um, our mixed number and whole number to uh, improper fractions here, or put in fractional form. So the 10, the whole number, we can put over one. Bring our division sign down. So mixed number to improper, we start at the bottom, we multiply and then add. So three times six is 18 plus two is 20 keep our denominator of three the same. So now we're ready to uh, keep, switch, flip. So always keep your first fraction, switch, and then flip. So we have three over 20. 
Now we are ready to multiply straight across, but we can look for cancellation. And in the case of number two, we do have um, a common factor between our numerators and denominators. So if you look at the 10 and the 20, we have a greatest common factor of 10 between those two. So we can divide both of them by 10 before we multiply straight across. Again, think of cancellation as simplifying the problem before multiplying straight across. So let's divide 10 by 10 and 20 by 10, our greatest common factor between the two. So 10 divided by 10 is one and 20 divided by 10 is two. So now we can multiply straight across. One times three is three. One times two is two. So we end up with an improper fraction and that is our answer, but we always want to change our um, improper fraction answers to mixed numbers for our final answer. So three halves or three over two, we need to do three divided by two in order to convert this to a mixed number. So how many whole groups of two out of three? Well, one, and we have a remainder of one, and we keep our denominator of two the same. So we end up with one and one half there. Always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number, but one half is in simplest form. So we are done, and our final answer is one and a half. Now I do wanna show you um, a comparison here between using cancellation and not using cancellation. So I'm going to rewrite the problem. We had 10 over one times three over 20. So let's see what answer we would get if we didn't use cancellation. So 10 times three is 30 and one times 20 is 20. So we get 30 over 20. Again, that's an improper fraction, just like we had uh, with using cancellation. So we want to convert that to a mixed number. So 30 divided by 20, how many whole groups of 20 can we pull out of 30? Well, one with the remainder of 10 and we keep our denominator of 20 the same. So we end up with one and 10 twentieths. Now that fractional part, we can simplify. The greatest common factor between 10 and 20 is 10. So let's divide each by 10 here. And we end up with, keep our whole number of one the same, 10 divided by 10 is one, 20 divided by 10 is two. So we end up with the same answer of one and a half. We just simplified at the end rather than um, before we multiplied straight across. So whether you use cancellation or not, you will end up with the same answer, um, just a couple of different paths um, in order to get to it. So there you have it. There's how you divide whole numbers by mixed numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.